Here we are asked to find f of 2. So what that means is instead of x, we are going to input the value of 2 for the x. So instead of this x right here, I'm going to put in a 2. Same thing here. And since that 3 was right next to the x, I know it means to multiply. And I could put times 2 like that, or put it in parentheses to show multiplication there, whichever I prefer. And now we need to follow the order of operations. So parentheses, the P represents anything in grouping symbols, not just parentheses. So we don't have that here. Next thing is we have exponents. So this is going to be 2 to the second power. So 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we're going to bring down that negative. Now, if you're wondering why we don't include it, so remember it looked like this. And then I replace the x with the 2. So the reason why is because this says the opposite of x squared. Well, x squared looks like this. And then we just bring that negative down. If we wanted the negative, if we wanted it to be included, we would write it like this. So if there were parentheses there, then we would be doing negative 2 times negative 2 because if there are parentheses, the parentheses says to multiply this number here that many times. But since there's no parentheses, it tells us don't include that negative. That negative is not part of the power, the base. Okay, so then next we're going to multiply and divide from the left to right. So here we have multiplication. And now we're going to add and subtract. So our answer is 7. Now another way I could have approached this problem here is that we know in front of every variable there is a coefficient if it's not there, it's a 1. So we could have also approached this problem if it helps us so we don't mess up with the putting the parentheses in and squaring. We could think of this as a negative 1 next to an x means multiply. So we can think of it like this, negative 1 times squared. So if that helps you, when there's just a negative sitting out there, we could put in the negative 1 there, and then we would do parentheses, and then multiplication, and we would still end up with 7.